Okay, welcome back. We're going to take a look at Fat Effects, Logic Pro 10.4, what's new and improved. Of course, I'm DJ Vic Paper, and this is Fat Effects. So where do I want to do it? Let's try... Let's try it on the... Well, we'd probably try it on both, because it has some really cool effects on drums as well as uh, instrument tracks, so... Let me move um, the graphic EQ out of the way here. Go down to the bottom to multi effects, fat effects, and stereo. And there it is in all its glory. Yay, fat effects. So it's pretty awesome, actually. You've got a band pass. So let me solo what we're dealing with here. Turn it on. And then you've got this little guy where you can isolate your frequency. <clears throat> I apologize, my throat is a little a little dry and crackly. A lot of talking going on today. I've done probably like 30 tutorials, so but hey, let's just figure it out. So the bandpass you can grab here and isolate frequencies that you want to work with. And then you can choose, you know, your different bandpass types right there classic smooth edgy you guys can read that no problem and then you've got your low res and you've got your high res so what the reject mix is is bringing back things that were not that were affected you know it's kind of like a dry wet that's the best way I can explain it without confusing you Think of it as a dry wet. It's bringing back in the dry signal, the unaffected signal, to whatever percent you would like to do that. So that's the band pass. Let me shut that guy off. And we'll just go across here to the left. This is our XY pad. Let's turn it on. Turn that one on. Oh, they were already on. All right, so now you can uh, basically sign the X and the Y to whatever you would like. So currently, filter cutoff is on the X, and filter resonance is on the Y. And hopefully you were able to see the good visual res res representation. My goodness, man, you talk for a couple hours and then you forget how to do it. But did you notice the visual representation there as we move things? It's kind of a nice little feature for us to be able to visually see what we're doing. So let's assign it to filter resonance. our different depth amounts. So. But anyhow, that's pretty cool. That is the XY. And then, of course, we've got our filter over here. You know, you've got your cutoff, resonance, drive, and mix. And then you've got your different filter types that you can choose from here, bit crusher, down sample, all the way to the different 
shapes and cutoff amounts. So let's turn that guy off. And let's take a look at distortion. Currently it's on bit crusher, but we can do exciter and uh, tube and diode and swap saturation. So. And you can set any of these to whatever you'd like. Not bad, pretty good little distortion unit. Definitely some flexibility there if you want to bring it in and add some distortion, either in an aggressive way or a subtle way. Let's take a look at the mod effects, and these are more like chorus or flangey type effects, so you've got the different levels of it here, but you can hear there, it's, this one's more like a chorus. If you go down here into the heavy, it's a little bit more flangey. But that is the mod effects and the bass enhance. Probably won't hear much here. If we were doing it with drums, you would definitely hear it. Now I want to look at some of that stuff on the drums. I think it'll sound a little bit better. So let's go back to multi effects, fat effects, stereo, and let's take a listen. Now that we're on the drum loop, let me make sure I get a good enough volume on it. Okay, so now. Listen to these guys down here a little bit. Also, you can see the chain of whatever you have activated down here, whatever order things are, are lit up and activated, so, or whatever you decide to use. Envelope follower, filter cutoff, let's turn the filter back on. I just said move the depth. So there you get that res representation again. Excuse me. Hmm. Uh, yeah. And then you've got, I'm going to turn this guy off. You've got your LFOs. You've got two LFOs, actually. And then your different shapes that you want to use are available to you in the drop down there. And then wherever you want it to affect, you know, it'll go there. We'll just leave it on the filter cutoff because that's obviously the most uh, noticeable thing you can change. And you can see right there, it's kind of bipolar. It's jumping back and forth. Let's try a sine wave. Looks like you can sync it or unsync it as well. That's LFO 1, LFO 2, they're identical in nature. And then you've got your master for your different settings here on your limiter, soft limiting, hard limiting, and no limiting. Yeah, input, mix, and output. So pretty straightforward, but really, really cool uh, effects. That is the fat effects. And we'll move on next and take a look at step effects. All right, see you guys in a second. <laughs> 